Hello everyone, as promised, I am back. Um, you probably see the uh, intros from the previous video in, in the background, um, but I think I'm going to start with um, Mr. Rohan Kashibe. He is an Android um, 1256. Um, he came out over a year ago, and I just happened to find him for a decent price at Anime Expo, so I was like, okay. Um, there was a guy, there was a random, um, vendor that just had all these, like, they had, he had all the JoJo ninjas, and I was like, okay, Rohan's the only one that is up there that I don't have that isn't on a re-release order, so I was like, okay, how much for Rohan? And he gave me a decent price, so I was like, okay, let me think about it. I walked off, like, maybe five minutes later, and I'm just like, I gotta go back and get him. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get him. So he was actually, like, like I was looking for Eris, but, like, I really do think he was my find of the, of the con. Um... Because I really, he's grown on me over the years. Because when he first came up for pre-order, I, I wasn't like the avid JoJo fan I am now. But like, I'm super into JoJo now. Um, thus spoke uh, Rohan Kashibe, um, that's on Netflix. Um, I loved um, the OVA. Um, and it, like I said, his character has grown on me um, since his his release and now you it's it's hard to find him so I was like oh yes so hopefully knock on the sit of wood um everything's okay with him because he he was released a long time ago at least in the android world because we're up to like what are we up to 1737 1750 yeah we're we're kind of up there we've gotten 500 Nendroids out since this fella, or, or more. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open him up and uh, see how he is. So here is the box. Like any other JoJo um, Nendroid, you've got the, is that emboss? embossing um you've got like the designs um overlaid on the box so you know that it's authentic um this is the best way to tell if a jojo nendroid is authentic or fake if you see these designs on the side of the box embellished embe is that the word that i need to use um if you see this um, then you know that you got a legit. If not, it's it's a bootleg, regardless of what these corners may say. Because I've I've actually seen a couple where it's like, oh, that's a that's a really good price on that. And you, they show you the front, but it's hard to see it on the front. But then once you turn it to the back, it's really easy to see that that um, the designs in it. Um, if you don't see the designs, it is a bootleg. Um, anyways, I'm excited because he is another one that comes with his stand, which will be really cool. Um, I may end up having to get a special base for him because, like I've said before, I really like, um, bases that are different. Like, I don't, I tend to not like the white base and use it unless I absolutely have to. Um, at, at least these days, that's, that's the way I've been getting, um. But yeah, but anyways, let's go ahead and open this fella up and see what he looks like on the inside. That didn't sound creepy at all. So here he is. Um, you've got the the main android, um, which is covered by this plastic. Um, then you have both face places, the attack face and then the... Um, I don't think so face is that what it is um anyways that's the face i'm going to be using probably um then you've got his little um like his little notebook thing um which is really cute you have the um lord if my phone will focus you have the um the manga insert that he normally does or he did in the beginning with his attack 
Um, like if if he showed you that, then that's when Heaven's Door would attack. Um, it's been a long time since I've watched part four. Um, <clears throat> you also have a couple extra hands. Um, it looks like a pointing palm out and then the writing hand that holds the pen, which I've heard stories about people losing that pen, so I've got to be extra careful. Um, you also come, he also comes with an instruction manual in case you need it, as well as the regular base. Um, the arm and then you've got a side base for his stand. I'm wondering if you can actually use the regular base for his stand um, but we'll see him once we get him out. So now I'm going to take him out and put him in a couple of poses. I might actually try the, I wonder if I'm going to try the, I think I'll just try the stoic face first. All right and we'll be right back. And and here he is in his first pose. Um, this was a simple pose to put him in, but it was kind of a little tricky. Um, just to forewarn you, anyone who has him or is thinking of getting him, his torso right here is rather loose. Um, like I went to pull the um, the plastic that was between his his. Um, the top half in his torso and like as soon as I gave it a little nudge like it fell right off um, So it is a little loose like it stays on there But it just doesn't feel like if sometimes when you hold an androids in your hand like some of them feel solid while others feel kind of Loose, but not like they're falling apart like he when I held him in my hands. It's not like he's falling apart I mean he he did like once or twice, but it was because I put more pressure I was um moving stuff around um but he does feel kind of light like he like if you push on him too much that it'll just fall right off um but the good thing is you can put it right back in it's it's meant to be that way because it gives you kind of a swivel in there um i forgot that he was actually made before josuke um so i think they were kind of experimenting with giving them um the swivel right there um, I think as far as like execution of all things Jojo as far as Nendroids are concerned I really do think that Joseph is like the peak of of it all like I think his was done like perfectly uh, most of the time meta costs with these Nendroids are a hit or miss um, I'm not saying that this is a miss by any means. Um, you do have a little bit of a gap right there, but it's not like a deal breaker. I've seen worse gaps um, before. Um, his hair is actually pretty nicely done, I think, um, for what it is. Um, I can understand why people lose that thing because that fell out like three times as I'm trying to put it in there. Um, some of the pictures show it kind of wedged. Kind of like a habit then others show it between the fingers and i just don't want to do it between the fingers because it'll warp um after time so if you're going to use the pen i would put the pen in his hand and leave it alone um otherwise that thing is too small you'll lose it or an animal will get hold of it and you'll never see it again um i did have an issue with my neck joint and i switched it out for the replacement um, neck joint because it just it it his head just flew right off um, when I went to pick him up this one's a little bit better but the neck does stick out a little bit more than I, I think I'm used to but it's not so bad that it bothers me um, also like any other of the Jojo Nendroids they got some big old Nendroid feet um, but anyways, it was it's cute. I like the fact that you've got a little bit of a swivel right there so you can move it a little bit. Because um, <clears throat> I know some of the the Jojo Nendroids have a tendency they're not joint there there's no joints right here at the uh, at the at the elbow. Not the elbow, Lord have mercy, the shoulders. Um so they can't like move out, like you can't pull the arms straight out. Um, which is a complaint that most people have about them. Um, but at least you've got like this little swivel right here, um, where you can, um, move that about. Um, but anyways, he's cute thus far. I'm going to go ahead and put him in an action pose next. And I'm going to see about using, um, Heaven's Door with him. So I'll be right back. 
All right, here's the action pose. And I guess you could use the stand to kind of, if you wanted to elevate um, Heaven's Door. Um, but this is actually how I had it on the box. So, um, yeah, like, um, not super angry about it. Um, it's cute. Um, it kind of gets the point across. And you can lift it up a little bit. Um, it just blocks the paper. But, I mean, like, he's supposed to be coming out of the paper anyway. Um, so, in that case scenario, like, like this. Like, I think that that looks pretty cool. Um... I like the fact that he comes with a stand, but since I am on a white background, uh, you can't really see him all that well. <laughs> um, if the background, my carpet's even a light color. Like if the background is, let's see. Yeah, like if the background's like a green color, um, he stands out a little more. Um, or like if you have like a, a display with a dark background he stands out a little bit more um otherwise he sometimes it looks like see like he gets lost in the background like even the shadow gives him a little bit more depth um anyways i actually really do like this pose for an action pose this is pretty cool um and he's not actually really doing much like he's just standing he's just standing there with the paper yelling at you um but it it it's very effective. Um, I'm actually going to try and combine a couple of um, ideas with the final pose that I, with the final faceplate that I have. Um, um, planned out. So um, yeah, we'll see how uh, the last pose ends up. So I'll be right back. Okay, and here is the final pose. Um, I had, I posed him with his little book thing, and then with a stand coming out. Um, I had a little issue, and I tried to get it off, but it seems to just have made it worse. Um, there's some scratches on the faceplate. Of course, it's the faceplate that I actually want to use. Um, but yeah, there's, it's not scratches. It, to me, it looks like paint. Um, if you can really see it, yeah. Um, which just really sucks, uh, cause I'm going to continue. I tried using a magic eraser, magic eraser hasn't been working. I'm going to put a little bit more elbow grease into it. And then I may try some rubbing alcohol and see if that works. Um, if not, I might have to look for another faceplate or just use the default one. Um, or just use this one and just kind of overlook it. Um, I just don't know what else to use to try to get the the uh, the stuff off of um, the face plates because um, it did it did it just looked like it looked like regular paint but I'll have to look at it in like really bright light to to really tell. Um, anyways, I really do like this pose, um, and this is the pose that I um, plan to um, leave him in. Um, anyways. Um, yeah, I think he's a pretty cool Nendroid besides the um, the paint flaws I had on my faceplate. Like I said, it would happen to the faceplates that I, that I actually want to use. Um, but if you like Rohan Kashibe, I would definitely um, suggest this Nendroid as it kind of just really, it, even though it doesn't come with a whole, whole lot, it displays his personality pretty well. Um, and not all the, the Jojo Nendroids have a tendency to do that. So um, yeah. So he gets a pass from me, even even with his face. Um, anyways, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if you'd like, uh, especially if you know how uh, to get the, the markings off of his face. Um, anyways, uh, I guess I'll see y'all next time. Later.